Hi, you are watching module 1 videos. In module 2, we have around 120 videos. We teach Java with Selenium in real time. So, end to end Java will be there and end to end Selenium will be there in complete real time. We provide classroom training as well as online training. So, complete Java and Selenium will be there in real time. Hi, welcome to Ramesh Soft Video Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will discuss about how to execute fail test cases in Selenium automatically, right? So, we have different different approaches are there. Now, first we will execute, uh, we will run the fail test cases uh, manually. Second one is through programmatically using testng class, using testng class and third one using through listeners, through listeners using through listeners with different approaches and fourth one using listeners uh, through suit xml files through suit xml files right so in this video we will talk about manually in the coming videos we'll talk about programmatically and then using listeners right now see here so whenever we are executing a suit of test cases sometimes there may be a chance of uh, failing the what test cases because sometimes uh, our test case are going to be failed uh, because of uh, locator changes because of some network issues because of some uh, page loadings because of some functionality changes because of application down because of <coughs> server down because of these issues uh, sometimes our test case are going to be failed suppose if we rerun that failed test cases some test case are going to be what passed so how do you rerun the failed test cases in this video we will talk you know whenever we are running our test cases through testng.xml automatically after execution of our uh, testng.xml file that is uh, after execution of our test cases automatically testng is going to be generated uh, a folder called uh, test iphone output folder in that folder if any test case are getting failed automatically our testng is going to generate one xml called testng iphone failed dot xml file we'll see one by one now see here let me write a sample program class now i'm taking a class i'm taking as a failed test one click on finish now see here what i'm doing i'm taking here i'm taking one method as a login I am taking one method as a login. Now just observe here what I am doing. So one more method I am taking as a logout. And one more method I am taking as a compose. Now see here what I am doing. Now inside this I am writing some dummy statements. SYSO of login method. And here I am writing something, some dummy statements I am writing. Assert from testng dot assert true. Assert true I am writing. Assert, assert true. Something like I am writing true. Now here I am writing SYSO of. So here I am writing logout method logout method so here i'm let me wantedly i want to fail this test case assert to dot i am writing assert to true or assert to equals something i am writing so here i'm writing true here i'm writing false so now my test case is going to fail or not yes so both should be what true but i'm making false now let me take uh, one more here, I am writing SYSO of, I am taking compose. Just dummy statements I am writing here. So in the real time, we should not use this SYSO statement, but let me write it as of now. Now, I am writing assert to dot, assert, I am taking false, now I am writing false, right? So let me annotate with the, at the right test, control space, 
now let me annotate this one with at the right test yes now let me annotate with at the right test now see here so total how many test cases yes now see here total how many test cases i am having three test cases right so out of these three test cases wantedly i am failing how many test cases this second test case log out i am making it fail or not yes now see here what i am doing right click run as test ng test just observe here what happens now see the screen now see here total how many test cases are run three but out of three one test case is getting failed or not yes now see which test case got failed now see here just to see the output yes now see here see here compose method login method log out method three methods are executed out of that compose login is passed but which test case is failed log out is failed or not because here i am expecting what true true but here i am wantedly passing what true false or not yes now now i want to run the failed test cases right manually now see here whenever we run a group of test cases a suit of test cases now see here through test ng dot xml file once execution is done once execution is done see here automatically one folder is going to be created what is that folder test hyphen output folder just to refresh it right click refresh now see what happens just to collapse this folder now are you seeing right one xml file is there what is that xml file test ng hyphen failed dot xml file who is creating this test ng hyphen failed dot xml file my test ng automatically is going to be created one xml file called what is that xml file test ng hyphen failed dot xml file so when it is going to create whenever if you are if you are seeing any failed test case in our suit or if you are seeing any failed test cases then automatically our test ng is going to generate what test ng hyphen failed dot xml file this test ng hyphen failed dot xml file contains all the failed test cases now see here which failed which test case is failed yes what is the method name log out in which class failed test one class or not yes so who is creating this xml file our test ng now see what i am doing can i run this file or not yes select this test ng hyphen failed dot xml file right click run as test ng suit now see what happens same thing see here so same the test case is getting failed or not yes see here what is the problem see here assertion error expected false but found what true yes now say let me make the changes in that file now say let me make the changes now make it as a what a true now see here now instead of running the total take total test cases now see here select this test ng iphone file dot xml file run as test ng suit now see here what happens now see here my test case is got passed or not yes how many failures are there zero or not how many skips are there zero or not yes this is the way to run a failed test cases manually using test ng iphone fail dot xml file clear now in the coming videos we will talk uh, how do we run rerun the failed test case using listeners and using test ng class uh, with a different a different approaches okay so thanks for watching the videos have a good day thank you so much